Hello everybody, ready to make some great souvlaki today and uh, we're going to be barbecuing a souvlaki here and I just want to go over a few things before we put the barbecue on and that is you're going to need some skewers, they come in little pouches like this, they're about two three bucks at the dollar store and you can see I have a little glass tray here and inside you'll see that there's a little bit of water and the reason why you stick them in water first is so that when you put these um, kebabs on the barbecue these uh, sticks don't uh, catch on fire. You can also use metal skewers too, but I just prefer to use the wood ones. And it usually takes about two hours for these to sit in water. They get waterlogged and then um, you can go ahead and put the meat on and put it on the barbecue. And also, tonight, we're going to have this Greek wine. It's called Retsina. And uh, I love this stuff with my uh, souvlaki. You can pick this up at the liquor store, but it's quite the unique wine. You don't see it around too often, but if you do see it, try it out. This uh, type of wine, uh, I believe, is like a 5,000-year-old recipe. It's got a little bit of a pine taste to it because uh, back in ancient times when they used to make the wine, they used to seal it up with um, pine sap from trees, and um, that's what gives that little bit of an aftertaste of pine. But um, if you want to try a really Greek wine, and um, a really Greek dish, this is the stuff to get. All right, so we're going to go out and get the, uh, the meat now, and we're going to put the meat together, these kebabs, and uh, we'll get the barbecue going. Okay, we're going to get the, uh, the onions ready now to go with our souvlaki tonight. These don't have anything on them, no salt, no nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of a, uh, a dressing to go on top, and uh, what we're going to start with here first is the salt, and we're going to use a half a teaspoon of salt and once again don't use too much salt you can see about a half a teaspoon that's all you need then we're going to get the sugar same thing half a teaspoon of sugar you can see right there just a half a teaspoon of sugar and then you want to mix the um, balsamic vinegar that's it right here and we see that we have one, two, three skewers of onions, so two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, and you can just kind of approximate. It's basically a 50-50 mix with the oil. And here's the, uh, the olive oil. And once again, we're going to do about uh, six tablespoons of olive oil if it wants to come off. Let's see if I can get this off here. Let's pull it strip. There we go. It's definitely got some stripping here. Yep. So there you go. There's the olive oil. So about uh, six tablespoons of olive oil. And now that you uh, have it in a bowl, you just basically mix the salt, the sugar, the oil, and the balsamic vinegar together. And you can see it here too. Just mix it all up. And now we're going to put it on top of our onions. And that's going to give a nice car caramelized onion when you eat it. It's going to taste really good. And you just kind of drip it on top. With the spoon. And that uh, balsamic vinegar, when you put it on the onions, it tastes so good. You could also use sweet pepper too. If you got some green pepper, red pepper, orange pepper, it goes really good with the souvlaki. And you just kind of pour it on top, like such. And you can see now they've all been coated with that little bit of dressing there. And now we're going to go fire up the barbecue, get it all warmed up, and we'll put the souvlaki and the onions on together. And they should be done within about 15 minutes. They can both go on at the same time. So let's go out and take a look at the uh, barbecue situation and get it fired up. Okay, you can see I got uh, my canola oil spray out again. And just a little tip before we put the uh, meat on the barbecue. Give this little, um, give your grill a, a good spray with this stuff first. And what that will do is it'll help uh, prevent the meat from sticking when you're cooking it. So if you got uh, a chance there, make sure you... Uh, spray it down first your grill before you put the souvlaki on remember the meat's going to be on a stick right so you don't want it to stick to the grill and then next thing you know if you're trying to flip it 
it rips the meat, right? So using some canola spray, Pam, whatever you got is a great thing to use before you throw your meat on the barbecue. And now I'll just uh, get this sprayed down and um, turn on the barbecue and get it nice and hot. All right, so I got my barbecue on now. And uh, when you're cooking uh, pork souvlaki, you don't need to crank up the heat like you do, say, a steak. The best way to cook a souvlaki is actually around 300 degrees Fahrenheit on the barbecue. So I'm going to keep my barbecue temperature down to on the low side here. And um, we'll get these put on now. And this will probably take about 15 minutes or so to cook these. And we're just going to watch it as it cooks. The other good thing about souvlaki, you don't have to worry about it flaring up like chicken. And same with the onions. They can go on at the same time. They'll all be done probably around the same time, so. And you can come over here and get a close-up of our souvlaki on the grill there. That's about 15 minutes to get that uh, all cooked up. And we'll come back in a few minutes to flip them over. And remember, I greased up the grill before we start it so that the meat won't stick, supposedly. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll come back in a couple minutes and see how they're doing. I'm just back in the house here now. You can see I got my uh, my rice cooker going again. We're gonna have some rice with our souvlaki tonight. And uh, my brother is actually preparing a nice salad for us tonight to go with it. And maybe some black olives and hot peppers too. We'll maybe get those out and add it to the meal with that nice bottle of wine. All right, I'll just go out to the uh, barbecue there and see how she's coming. Okay, we've had it on for a few minutes here. We're just gonna take a little Sneak peek. Oh, that's looking fabulous. Just take a look at our meat here. Make sure. Yeah, they've been on for about two or three minutes. I'm just going to give them a nice little flip, but you can see they're not sticking to the grill. They turn over quite nicely. Oh, famous last words. There you go. That one stuck a little bit, but not too bad. And if you don't grease them up, the uh, grill, you'll have stuff sticking. Oh, my onions got a little bit dark on that side. There we go. Looking good. Looking really good. I think I'm going to turn down the heat a little more on the uh, on the onions there. We don't want them to get too uh, burnt. Okay, I've had the uh, souvlaki on now for about 10 minutes, so we're going to go take a look and see how it's going. Oh, that looks good. So that's about 10 minutes of grilling right there. Probably another five more minutes to go. I'm just going to uh, give them a flip here. I'll just turn off the camera and give them a flip, but another five more minutes, and I think we're going to have ourselves some beautiful homemade souvlaki okay so it's been about uh, 18 minutes now and you can see this souvlaki is done now we're gonna take it off the grill and go and see if the guys like it now I just brought it inside here we're just gonna get our plates ready and you can see this souvlaki is looking pretty mean and we're gonna get some of that Ritzina wine out there all right, here is the meal. As you can see here, we got some salad. We got some hot peppers, rice. That's the souvlaki sauce known as tzatziki. This is our onions that we cooked. And here is the golden souvlaki. Now we got the other two fellas ready to try it. Eric is now pulling his out. It's all right, guys. Take your time there. I plan on it. And you can see... We're going to make another video on how to make the uh, souvlaki sauce known as tzatziki. And I'll also do a video on how to do the rice. I added some chicken flavoring to it to give it a little bit of um, little bit of substance. So it's not just plain old rice. Oh, should we show them how to make the tzatziki? That's kind of a, yeah. that's a special one there. I don't know about that one. That's right. Yeah, don't you worry. There you go. We can see... My brother is definitely excited. Too salty? 
No, very good. Very good. Okay, good. And well, now Eric, he's just getting his old taken apart here. Some guys like to eat it on the stick. Some guys like to take it off. It's just easier to consume. Yeah. I don't know if it's the mood I'm in, but some part of me wants to make you do more editing on this. Why eat like a caveman? Well, he, he took two kebabs, eh? That's good. He has a lot of confidence in my cooking since there's only one extra kebab and he scooped it. <laughs> yeah, it was two each there. We're good. I figured it was two each. Yeah. Oh, this is a real treat, though. Yeah, we'll be uh, definitely uh, making a video on the homemade tzatziki, known as souvlaki sauce. You can put that on Euro too. That'll be another um, cooking episode. Is the doing the uh, the Euro? I can't wait to do some of that. There you go. Now we have the connoisseur. Mm. Not garlic. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about me for that. That's good. Okay. Yeah, it tastes it all tasty. Very good too. Yeah, and the onions turned it out quite nicely, yeah. eh? Very good. Well, I am so happy that you guys liked it. And speaking of liking things, <laughs> looks like our first bottle of wine there has already been uh, poured out, which is nice. Now it's my turn to have something to eat. So I just want to thank everybody for watching my video and stay tuned for my next video. And once again, share this with your friends. Give me a thumbs up and. Uh, Ring that bell and subscribe to my channel. So long, everybody, and bon appetit. Take care.